Hi folks, it's Max from How I on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new focal camera from Sinogen Mod 10.2 ROM. Uh, this camera, you can actually install the APK file on most Android devices. Um, I've got it installed on my T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Let me give you a quick demo real quick. So let's go do this, baby. Ugh. So let me go ahead and show you the focal camera here. This is the focal camera. You'll be able to drag um, this this little circle here to video camera, uh, pic sphere, uh, front facing camera, panorama, and also photo, which is the mode it's in. Um, to take photos, basically, you can hit that button. And if you want to focus, it's not an autofocus uh, camera. Um, you can go ahead and focus there. Once focus, um, it will keep that focus wherever you take photos. Uh, and now the good thing with this camera is that focusing also works for videos. A lot of AOSP ROMs come with cameras um, that don't work uh, with the focus. So for example, I can go ahead and uh, point at the background there and it'll focus on the background and I can go ahead and go ahead and uh, focus on the foreground there and it'll focus on the Androids. Um, so that is nice and for those of you running like CM 10.1, Android 4.2.2, and you don't have focus in your videos, you can go ahead and install this right over it and get that uh, for your videos. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff you can do with the still camera here. Uh, if you swipe up from the bottom here, you get all these options. Uh, flash, you can turn the flash off. Um, also, um, the lighting, you can set it to um, indoors, uh, sunlight, auto, and also scene mode here. You got a bunch of different scene modes, uh, night mode, party mode, all kind of different stuff. Um, you can go ahead and click on it to get rid of it. Um, let's say you just need, you know, HDR, um, you want to change the exposure, you need ISO. Um, you can go ahead and just have those menus up and also you can swipe these away, uh, which is really nice uh, for those of you really into adjusting, tweaking your photos uh, before you take them. And also there is burst mode, uh, which can take photos, which doesn't work too well, so I don't recommend it. Also, if you need a timer, it does have a timer function there. And also, if you need a grid, you can go ahead and activate the grid there. And also, um, I'm not sure what that is. And also, you can change the uh, size of your photos there. Um, and also, this has a bunch of different widgets you can choose on the sidebar. Um, so that's nice. And uh, you know, the cool with cool thing with this camera is that you can have all of these options here. I'll swipe them away. Um, just have the ones you want. Um, so it's going to be very easy to adjust uh, your photo quality while you're taking them. Um, but pretty fast camera, maybe slightly faster than the S4 camera. Um, again, this is a great alternative uh, for those of you running AOSP ROMs and you don't have as good focus uh, with the stock AOSP camera. And also there is uh, PicSphere, which is kind of like Photosphere. I haven't got it to work correctly that well. I don't actually recommend this that much, but you can play with it. It's pretty much like Photosphere. Um, but I do recommend just getting the regular Android 4.3 Photosphere camera for taking Photosphere camera. Anyway, if you want to try out this camera, let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Um, you just need to download uh, the APK file and basically install it. Um, I do recommend using a, a file explorer such as ES File Explorer. Um, go ahead and download the focal.apk. It should be in your download directory. Simply click on it and uh, go ahead and install. Uh, you might have to check unknown sources on, you know, if you don't have that on already. And then um, that's pretty much it. And you should have a focal camera on your Android device. Now this should work well for Android 4.2.2. Uh, 4.3 or if you're running an AOSP 4.1.2 like CM 10.1. Not sure on older Androids, um, but you can try it. Because this app installs separately as a, a separate camera, um, if you don't like it, you can simply uninstall it. Um, shouldn't be too much of a headache, even if something goes wrong. But definitely check it out, and uh, that's about it. And don't forget to try out this camera on your Android device and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there. And uh, as always, uh, stay here on Android.